Hey there, East Tennessee. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to take a minute to talk about what is currently Tropical Storm Debbie as we get just past the one o'clock hour here on your Wednesday afternoon. I wanted to take a minute to drop you guys a couple of updates in case you're traveling, you know, people in the area and maybe just want a little bit more information. As of right now, we are seeing Debbie sitting off of the coastline here of South Carolina, just off the coast of the Charleston region. And so what we're going to watch from this point is this continued rotation, but as it sits over water, it's going to have the opportunity to develop more of that moisture, pull some of that moisture up from the Atlantic Ocean and then continuously uh, drop that down on the rest of the Carolinas as it eventually begins its journey back into land and riding up the rest of the East Coast. I don't know if you can quite see this because the line is green, but it's taken a very slow and kind of wobbly journey as it made its way from the Florida Big Bend, where it first had that landfall as a Category 1 hurricane, making its way through parts of northern Florida and far southeastern Georgia before coming right out along the Georgia South Carolina line sitting right on this coastline. So it's been a little bit quieter with rainfall because it lost a good bit of strength coming off of the land. But as it makes its way back on the water, it's going to redevelop some of that strength. It's going to pick back up some of that moisture. No promises as of yet. We may even see it restrengthen close to category one. We've got 60 mile per hour winds in Debbie as of this one o'clock hour. But either way, it is going to start to make its journey back along the East Coast and re-entering the rest of the weather pattern. But it has dropped some crazy rain on the area thus far. What you're looking at here are rainfall totals upwards of four, five, six inches in just the past 24 hours. This little bubble here, blue, I'm not sure if you can quite see it. That's six inches on the dot here as we look into the most central parts of South Carolina and all of these various bands that have trained on through riding up the rest of the coast of North Carolina. So all of that red here, these are rain totals getting upwards of four inches. Past 48 hours takes it a step further. Some of this gray here that you're seeing, this is rainfall upwards of 15 to 20 inches of rain here. Sitting in the coastal area between Charleston and between Savannah, you're even seeing some of that on the Georgia South Carolina line. So intense powerful flooding rain and pushing its way through that. In addition to the storm surge that we were seeing along these coastlines, we have a lot of impacts here and beaches like Myrtle Beach, like the Charleston area, like Savannah. They're going to be feeling the impacts of this storm for quite a while, and that's not even including some of the wind damage that we'll see. But for all of those reasons, all of the rainfall that has been seen so far and all the rainfall that is still going to fall down. In addition to that, we are seeing up to extreme levels of flood potential, particularly between the coasts of the two Carolinas here today specifically, but even that level three risk making it up to the Raleigh area, including the entire Charleston area. And it's not just today either. That includes tomorrow again as the system then makes its landfall coming off of the coastline and into the Carolinas. Now we have that uh, level four extreme flooding potential, including Raleigh, not quite over to the Charlotte area, but they're still in that level three extreme. Then we get to Friday and it's going to continue to make its journey up the rest of the coastline, eventually making it to New England. We're then seeing that level three flooding potential potential in Pennsylvania, New York, getting up to New Hampshire as well. Actually, that may be Vermont. So we're seeing a lot of those heavy uh, rainfalls as we get forward because rainfall could be getting upwards of 10 to 12 inches down in the Carolinas and still rainfall totals getting upwards of five inches or so getting towards your Friday and then things are finally going to start to quiet down. So what are we expecting from this point forward? At some point tonight, heading overnight into your Thursday, it is going to make that track back onto land. But that's when we start to see those heavy rainfall impacts Thursday morning, places like Raleigh, places like Charlotte. If you know anyone traveling to the area, let them know to either wait a little bit or if they're flying, the flights themselves likely get delayed. And then as we continue through the end of the work week, we continue to watch this journey up to the north. By Friday night, it's going to be making it into western New York and upstate New York and places like Pennsylvania as well. It will likely have fallen down into remnants by that point as it makes it to New England, but still heavy rainfall is going to be possible. Gusty winds still going to be possible for people living up in New England. So not the quietest weekend for them. They're still going to be seeing some of those rainfall totals even getting into your Saturday morning. Some of those wider bands going to open up as well. System will continue to loosen as it makes its journey from the south and further up to the north. It gets weaker. It continues to die down and it's going to lose some of the strength and some of those uh, potencies that it's going to take along with it. But look at all of this rainfall here that is going to be expected from Augusta, Myrtle Beach, riding up the entirety of the coastline and reading, making it all the way up into New York with those rainfall totals getting upwards of three inches. So from a storm that won't even be 
a categorical strength at that point, it's still going to have a lot of impact. It's still going to have a lot of rainfall. For us here in East Tennessee, as you can see, not much of that activity. If you are going to see any of this rainfall, you'd have to make it into, if not over the mountains, from where we're going to be seeing some more of that impact. So things going to be quiet for us here in East Tennessee. We'll continue to keep an eye on Debbie and let you know what other updates come in, especially as it makes us journey back inland later tonight.